This video will show an example of checking the linear independence of a set of vectors and if a dependence relation exists then how to find that relation. So here we start off with a set of vectors v1 1 3 2 v2 which is negative 1 2 negative 1 and v3 which is negative 1, 12, 1. So the question is, is this set linearly independent? In order to check that, we're going to solve the homogeneous equation, which is ax equals 0, and see if we can get a trivial or non-trivial solution. a is going to be composed of the vectors v on its columns. So what this equation is going to look like then is going to be 1, 3, 2, negative 1, 2, negative 1, negative 1, 12, 1, augmented with a vector of zeros, 0, 0, 0, for the solution vector. So once again we have v1, v2, and v3 and then the zero vector to make up our equation ax equals zero. Now we're going to row reduce this. I'm going to take row two and add negative three times row one to it and row three and add negative two times row one to it to give us this. Now we're going to scale row 2 by one-fifth to give us this. Then we're going to perform an operation on row 3. So we'll take row 3 plus negative row 2 and that gives us this and to complete the row reduction we're going to take row 1 and add row 2 to it to get this final form. Now this tells us that we have a solution of the form x1 plus 2x3 is equal to 0 and x2 plus 3x3 is equal to 0. Suppose we let x3 equal 1 then we get that x is equal to negative 2, negative 3, 1. This is a non-trivial solution and therefore these three vectors are dependent. Now to find how exactly they're dependent we can further analyze the solution. So writing out again what the homogeneous equation actually says we see that it is x1 v1 plus x2 v2 plus x3 v3 is equal to the zero vector. From these relations we know that x1 is equal to negative 2x3 and x2 is equal to negative 3x3. So we can replace those values in this equation and we get negative 2x3 times v1 plus negative 3x3 times v2 plus x3 v3 is equal to 0. If we factor out an x3 we can see that it becomes negative 2 v1 plus 3 v2 plus v3 is equal to 0. 
And so we can see that not only will x3 equal to 0 make this all equal to 0, but also a combination of the vectors in here. Specifically, from this, we have that v3 can equal 2v1 plus 3v2. And that is the linear dependence. And we can check that. Just looking at our vectors from before, we get this as 2 times 1, 3, 2. That was v1. Plus 3 times negative 1, 2, negative 1, which is v2. And that is going to be equal to, if we just multiply things out, 2 minus 3, negative 1, 6 plus 6, 12, and 4 minus 3, 1. And if we look at what we had before, that is exactly v3. So therefore, the linear dependence relation that we found right here holds.